All right, so welcome everyone. We are at Rebirth Fitness Yoga Studio and we're recording a live Zoom class. This will be an all levels class. So I'll give some uh, modifications for beginners um, or level one, as well as some more advanced uh, modifications. If you would like to, you could try some of them at your own risk at home. <laughs> so enjoy the class. And the first thing I'll be doing is playing um, some bowls. So if you'd like to find a comfortable seated position, any comfortable seated, it's better for you to cross your legs or sit on your heels, that's fine as well. Okay, so I got this crystal bowl. I got seven for each chakra. This one is the uh, crown chakra. So it helps to heal and balance your energy. So you can sit comfortably with your palms face up, relax on your leg, and close your eyes and start to breathe. And focus your mind on your breath as you begin to allow all other thoughts Begin to follow your breath with your mind. In and out through the nose only. And as you breathe, feel your lower abdomen expanding as you inhale. And as you exhale, the belly button comes in towards the spine. This helps you take in more oxygen deeper breaths, deep, slow breaths. And just continue breathing and relaxing the entire body. Clearing your mind, bringing yourself into your center.
God intention for you, for you personally in Christ. Maybe take that intention into your day. For the rest of your day, what will be your intention? Intending a positive outcome for the day. And slowly begin to open your eyes open. And as you come back into the room, bring your awareness to your fingers. Just wiggle your fingers. And as you inhale, float your arms up overhead. Lengthen through the spine. Look up. Interlace your fingers and press the palms up to the sky. Exhale, release the hands and bring them behind you, interlacing them behind you. Lift up your chin, drop your head back, take a deep breath in, open your throat, extend elbows, feel the shoulders stretch as you tuck your chin to your chest and pull forward, lifting arms up overhead. Inhale, lengthen the spine, coming up, release. And bring your palms to your knees. You can roll over your ankles to come forward into a tabletop position. And from your tabletop, tuck your toes, inhale, stretch in the back, look up, feel the spine commit to extension. As you exhale, round and curl, push you into the ground. Inhale for cow, looking up. Exhale for cat, shoulder blades round up to the sky. Do a few more at your own pace with your own breath timing. Making sure hands are directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. With each inhale and exhale, make sure you go a little bit further through the range of motion as you warm up the spine in this flexion and extension. And coming back to a neutral spine in tabletop position. And sliding your, um, I'm going, normally I mirror you guys, but to, since we're doing the video, I'm going to just do an actual hand. <laughs> so bring your left hand under your chest. Inhale, the right arm up. Look up at your hand. Exhale, thread that needle, thread that arm under your body. Roll onto your right shoulder. You can use the left palm to press into the ground to help square your hips. Because your hips will have a tendency to shift over to the left. You want to pull them to the right to keep them square. And notice when you do that, your spine twists a little deeper. You can wrap your left arm behind your back if, if that feels okay for you. And another variation of this pose would be to float your um, leg off the ground. So if you shift into a balanced posture here, you can go ahead and um, shift into your right shoulder and your right knee, and then float your left leg off the ground. If you want, you don't have to. <laughs> so if you're extending the leg, point and flex the ankle, circle in both directions. If you want to challenge yourself even further, 
float your right foot off the ground and just balance on the right knee. This can be with the left hand on the ground or wrapped behind your back. Wherever you are, release, come down with your legs, press into the ground with your left hand strong. Inhale, right arm up, look up at your hand, twisting open further. Exhale, come back down to center. Right hand comes in the center of your chest. Inhale, left arm up, look up at your hand. Exhale, thread that needle, reaching arm underneath your body. Roll onto left shoulder. Press strong into the ground to square your hips to the left. Maybe let your right hand stays on the floor or wraps behind your back. Twisting a little deeper. Breathe. Feel the spine awakening in this twist. All your spinal muscles. Maybe you floated the leg up on the first side. If you did, go ahead and float your right leg up this time. Point flex the ankle. Circle in both directions. If you also lifted the other foot, you can lift your left foot up. And slowly coming down. Press strong into the right palm as you inhale, reach left arm up, look up at your hand. And exhale, come back down to tabletop. Walk your hands about one hand length in front of you and circle your entire body clockwise. Big circles, this is dancing lion. So we wanna circle through the hips, feel the shoulders rotating, getting movement through the knees, the wrists, elbows, all the joints. Just lubricate them and reverse direction and circle counterclockwise. If any spots seem a little sticky, you can pause there and hold for a minute, or not a minute, a second. <laughs> Maybe two seconds. Come back to center. You're still in um, with your hands in front of shoulders. So when you shift your hips forward, you're in a modified plank position. Notice that the crown of my head is aligned with my tailbone, and my hands are under my shoulders. So here you can actually feel your abs engage, your abdominal muscles are contracting. Roll the elbow creases forward as you take a deep breath in. Keep the elbows hugged close to your side. As you lower down, exhale to the floor. Hug the elbows in tight. Inhale and press up with bent elbows. You're lengthening your spine in a baby cobra. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears as you lift your head. Don't arch back, just lengthen. Don't scrunch the back of it. Exhale, push back to a child's pose. This can be wide knee child's pose, knees as wide as the mat. Sit back on your heels, forehead to the ground. Breathe. As you extend your elbows, lengthen the spine on your inhale and breath, and fold a little deeper on your exhale. Walk your hands over to the right. Walking your hands to the right. Lengthen through your left side body. So maybe you want them all the way off the mat. Bringing left palm on top of right. Turn your head and look underneath your left arm. Feel the length through that left side body. Breathe.
Turn your head, look under your right arm. And just notice the difference there when you turn your head, the variation of the stretch. Lift your head up and walk your hands all the way over to the left side. Maybe you're walking off your mat, lengthening through the right side of your body. Place your right palm on top of your left. Turn on the other right arm. Turn and look on your left arm. Notice the difference in the variation of the stretch. Feel your body, connect your body. Yoga means to yoke or connect. So we want to not mindlessly be doing the postures and poses. We want to focus on connecting our mind to our body. Connecting our breath movement. So as you lift your head, inhale, walk your hands back to center. If at any time throughout the class you need to take a rest, you can come down to child's pose and breathe. We are still participating with us. We're still taking class with us. So inhale, come up to your tabletop. Tuck your toes and come into your Straight arm plank position. Engage the core. Crown of head is aligned with tailbone. We'll elbow creases for taking a deep breath in. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, sliding through, rolling onto the tops of feet, pressing into the ground. It's okay if your elbows are still bent, just hug them into your sides. For a cobra, lengthen the, the neck and shoulders point down away from the ear. Feel that back extension. Exhale, shift back on knees, tuck toes, lift hips, press heels to the ground as you lengthen arms, legs, and spine. Downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, bending and straightening one knee at a time. Just working through the ankles and the knees as you breathe. Just warming up those legs. And then lift the heels high, stretching the toes and the bottoms of the feet. Drop the heels down as you push through the fingers and shift the weight back. Start to walk your feet all the way up to the top of your head. Walking up slowly. Feet are hip width apart. You can measure with two fists uh, between your feet to see the distance. Grab opposite elbows, hang heavy. Let all your weight shift forward into the balls of the feet. Rock side to side from the hips, not the shoulders. So don't, don't just sway your shoulders, sway your hips side to side. Nice big movement. Come back to center, shift forward and back from toes to heels. And then just let all the weight go. Let all the weight shift to the balls of the feet. Release the arms and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. All the way to standing. Your head comes up last. Your spine and vertebrae stack one on top of the other. Coming into mountain pose. Step your feet together, press your palms together. So we'll be working through our sun salutation. We're going to do part C first, and then we'll do part A and B. So you'll get three different sun salutations. Here we go. Inhale, reach the arms up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot steps back and drop right knee to the ground. 
Stay framing foot with hands. Inhale, lengthen chest up. Hold breath, press palms, step into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Inhale, slide through cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, drop left knee to the ground. Lift chest, inhale. Exhale, step left foot up to move the right forward fold. Inhale, press palms together. Lift arms up, arch back. Exhale, hands to chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot steps back, drop knee, lift chest, inhale. Hold breath, press palms into the ground, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, drop right knee, lift chest, inhale. Exhale, step right foot to meet left forward fold. Press palms, lengthen arms out and up as you inhale, arch back. Exhale, hands to chest. That was sun salutation C or the old school traditional. Now we'll start our sun salutation A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, so flattening the back. If you cannot flatten your back, let's say you're touching the ground and you're a rounded spine, you can either bend your knees, which allows you to press into the floor and flatten, lengthen your spine, so your back is parallel to the ground. Otherwise, you can also press against your shins and straighten knees to lengthen. So no rounded spines here. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step to plank. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, slide through cobra. Maybe you're ready for an upward facing dog. Tuck toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for five breaths. Five deep, slow breaths. And work on your ujjayi breathing here. Ujjayi breathing. Making a sound with the breath as it passes by the back of your throat, like waves of the ocean. Exhale, look between your hands. Step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. So either one of those ways, shins or ground, make sure your back is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms can come out to the side or in front. All the way up, arch back. Exhale, hands to chest. So we'll do that one again, just a little faster. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Bend knees, plant palms, step to plank. Exhale, lower through your yoga flow. Maybe you're ready for your uh, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold for five breaths. Make a sound with the breath. Really connect to that breath. Look between your hands. You can step, walk, or try to jump to the top of the mat. Inhale when you land, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come up and arch back. Exhale, hands to chest. Beautiful. Sun salutation B. This is the fun one. <laughs> Starting with chair pose. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Bend knees, plant palms, step, walk, or try to jump and land and chatter on the arms as you exhale. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. 
Exhale, downward dog. And step your right foot forward, ground left heel 45 degrees. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, come down and through your yoga flow. So lower to the ground or hover. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step left foot forward, ground right heel 45 degrees. Inhale, rise up, warrior one on the left. Exhale, come down and through. Yoga flow. This is our yoga flow. We do it a lot in class. <laughs> Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold for five breaths in your down dog. Make a sound with the breath. Connect to it. Feel your body. With each exhale, get more depth in your pose. With the bottom of your next exhale, look between your hands, bend your knees, step backward, jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, flatten your back. Exhale, fold your body in half. Bend knees as you inhale to chair, arms up. Exhale to standing, hands can come to chest or down by your side. <sighs> inhale, circle arms overhead, really arch back this time. Look up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back, knee. Bend knees, plant palms, step walk, or jump out your yoga flow. Inhale, cobra up dog, exhale, down dog. Bring your right leg to the sky. Stack your hip on top of the left, bend and straighten the knee. Really open up that right leg. Feel the hip and the leg stretching as you open. And then exhale, square the hip down. Bring your knee to your nose and plant the right foot on the ground. Now here, drop your back knee to the floor first. As you inhale, reach your arms up, lift your chest. Feel this left hip flexor stretching as your hips move forward. Chest lift, sternum elbows, arms reach behind you. Now you can stay here if you want to challenge yourself. Lift the back knee off the ground and come into a high crescent lunge. Lifting chest. Sink deeper into your lunge. Stay at high. Now let's have everyone come off the ground and come into your warrior one. So if you're already standing, round your back heel. Lift your chest and lengthen your arch back. And open up to warrior two. So bend into that right knee. You want to make sure that the knee doesn't go past the toes or even behind the ankle. So right on top of that ankle, bending into that right knee. Feel the hips open up as you look past your right fingertips. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Flip your right palm. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, exalt back. Walk your left hand down the back of your leg. Look up towards your right arm. Wrap your left arm behind your back. Bend deeper, sink lower. Touch your finger, your index finger and thumb together. This is your wisdom mudra, your focus and concentration. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten both legs. So see if you can keep the legs straight. Maybe just a tiny micro bend in the knees. As you inhale, reach your right hand and upper body forward. Your hips move behind you to the left. Exhale, tilt down. Your right hand can come to your shin. You can use a block to press on. Come to the floor on inside or outside of leg. Or the traditional Ashtanga way is to piece finger grip your right big toe with your right hand. Look up at your left hand and lengthen. 
Feel the leverage as you push and pull. Inhale, come all the way up. And you can step your back foot forward slightly here. Just make sure you have about three feet between both of your uh, feet. <laughs> Twist and rotate your upper body. So now we're coming into revolve triangle. Your hips are squaring. Inhale, left arm reaches forward. Exhale, tilt. Either press on shin with left hand or all the way to the ground on the outside, pinky toe side of right foot. Begin to rotate your chest over to the right. Eventually looking up at your right hand. Revolve triangle. Feel the spine lengthening and twisting. Bend into your left knee. Walk your left hand in front of your right foot. Bend into right knee, walk left hand in front. Shift into right foot, float left leg off the ground. Keep looking down at your left hand. Flex left ankle, revolve half moon. Slowly, if you're ready to, keep twisting, looking towards the right side of the wall. Keep that left leg high, flex the ankle, maybe looking up at your right hand. One more breath. And exhale, release both hands to the ground. If you can, keep that left leg elevated. Walk the fingers to align with the toes. Standing split, forehead to knee. Lifting left leg up. Breathe. Feel the length in the right hamstring. Open up your left leg. Walk right hand in front of right foot. Uh, bring your left hand to your hip. So now we're opening the hip. We had it square before, now we're opening. Lift and elevate the outer glute, glute medius. And when you're ready for half moon reaching, left arm up to the sky, looking up towards that hand. Beautiful. One more breath, you can do it. And exhale, lower down. Left foot meets the right, forward fold, just shake it out. Let it all go. Sway your hips side to side, then straight one at a time. Ooh. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look out. Bend your knees, plant your palms, step, walk, or jump and go through your yoga flow. Bending in a downward facing dog, or you can come to child's pose if you need to. <laughs> so your choice and take five breaths here. Breathe. Reconnect to your breath. Feel your body. On your next inhale, shift forward, coming into downward facing dog on your exhale. Lift your left leg to the sky. Bend and straighten that left knee. Stacking the hip, really open up that leg, extending it, reaching it over. And then square the hip as you exhale and bring your left knee to your nose. So we want to bring this left foot way up to the top of the mat so that our toes align with our fingers. Drop the right knee to the floor. Inhale, arms up, lift the chest, push the hips forward. Feel the right hip flexor in front of your right hip is extending, lifting the chest. Look up, reach the arms back behind you. You can stay here or if you want to challenge yourself, lift that back knee off the ground and hold for your high lunge, high crescent. 
Reach your right heel more towards the back behind you. Feel the tailbone slightly tuck here. One more breath. And then everyone can come into a warrior one, upstanding warrior one. Breath in, exhale, open up warrior two. Make sure your shoulders square over your hips, look past left fingertips. Sink down deep into your warrior two. You want to work on getting your left knee and hips aligned. So in the beginning, you might be higher, that's okay. <laughs> but eventually, get down low. Strengthen those legs, strengthen those hips. Flip left palm, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, exalt back. Right hand slides down the back of your right leg. Wrap it behind you. Maybe you can reach your right hand in your left arm pocket. Look up that left hand, touch thumb and point your finger together. Did you come out of your left knee? If you did, sink back down into it. Breathe. One more breath. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten both legs. Ah, relief. <laughs> Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, tilt, press left palm into shin. Look up that right hand. Triangle pose. Maybe you can reach all the way to the floor or grab your big toe with your left piece finger and lengthen it, reaching in opposite direction with right and left hand. Lean back on that invisible wall behind you. Inhale, come up. If you need to, step the back foot just maybe a couple inches forward and turn the toes on. 45 degree angle as we twist your hips. Now you're rotating. So right hand is forward. Inhale, reach right arm forward. Exhale, tilt. Right hand to shin, ankle, foot, or all the way to the ground on the outside of left foot. Revolve, triangle. Look up at your left hand. Feel the spine lengthening on the inhaling breath and twisting deeper on the exhaling breath. Now, look down at your right hand, bend into your left knee. Walk the fingertips, right fingertips, and hand come about a foot in front of your left foot. Shift forward and float right leg off the ground when you're ready for revolved half moon. You can adjust your right hand on if you need to on the floor. Really engage the muscles of that floating right leg. The glutes, the hamstring, the quads lift it higher. Looking up towards your left hand. One more breath. Exhale, release. Walk your fingertips align with your toes. Bring your forehead to your knee in a standing split. Lift right leg to the sky. Open hip. Breathe. Feel left hamstring lengthen. Walk left hand in front of left foot. Bring right hand to right hip. Half moon pose. When you're ready, keep opening and stacking right hip on top of left. Maybe you can extend right leg, right arm to the sky, lifting up. Woo! Last breath, you can do it! Yeah! Feel that shake going. And then exhale, release. Lower down. Shake it out side to side with your hips swaying. Bend and straighten one more time. Just let it all go. Inhale, flat back, lean your look up. Bend knees, plant palms, step walker, jump, go through. Your yoga flow as you exhale, lower down. As you inhale, the cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Or you can come into child's pose. We're going to take five breaths here. Recover. Recuperate. Breathe.
Next exhale. You can come into your downward facing dog if you're in a child's pose. And then you can walk, step, or jump to the top of the mat. When you get there, take a deep breath in and extend your spine, flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold your body in half. And inhale, arms reach out like airplanes, press into the feet, engage the hamstring. Arching up the back, exhale, hands chest. Separate your feet, hip width apart. Ground into the floor. Internally rotate the tops of the thighs, the femur bones, like they're two poles rolling in towards each other. That helps you ground your feet and spread into the mat or the floor. <laughs> now, we're doing eagle pose. So, <laughs> first we'll do the arms. So take your right elbow bending on top of your left. You're stacking the elbows. Then right hand comes in front of left and wraps around if possible so that your palms press each other. Look past your palms. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Lift the elbows, lining with the shoulders. Notice the backs of the shoulders stretching here. Bend into your right knee. Shift over and bring left knee on top of right. Squat down. If you can, wrap your toes, your left toes behind your right calf, but no worries if you can't. Just stay here, stacking shoulders over hips, lifting chest, lifting elbows. Sink a little deeper. Breathe. Ooh, we're doing a one-legged squat here. <laughs> you got it. Focus. Breathe. Use your breath. Help you. Do the pose to chugging times. Inhale, come up, release left leg. Exhale. Inhale, fly, eagles fly. Exhale, worms down. Left side. So now left elbow bends on top of right. Stacking, wrapping the hands around. If you can, press palms together. Inhale, elbow flip. Feel the shoulders stretching the backs of your shoulders. Bend into left knee deeply as you shift weight over to the left. Cross right knee on top. Sink down into your squat. Wrapping right toes behind calf if possible. If not, no worries. Lifted chest, lifted elbows. Looking past your arms and hands. Focus on a spot in front of you. Keep your eye gaze there. Sink a little deeper. Building strength. Engage the core. Finding your balance, working all those little stabilizer muscles in the foot, the ankle. Last breath, you can do it. And inhale, come up. Exhale, release leg. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, down. And bring your palms together at center of chest. Ooh, nice job. <laughs> Did lower the air. <laughs> Okay, bring your feet together. So for a moment, close your eyes here and just feel your body. Notice with the feet together, are you swaying forward and back, side to side? Are you able to ground like we did before, internally rotate the thighs? Notice if that helps put even pressure through the feet to distribute your weight. Engage the core. Having you stop swaying a little bit. And you find that stillness. And flutter the eyes open. Take a deep breath in as you circle arms up and overhead, arch back. As you exhale, reach arms out like air cannons and swan back down. Inhale, lengthen, flatten your back. Bend knees, plant palms, step walk, or jump and go through your yoga flow. And then you a downward facing dog. Lift your right leg to the sky and bring your right knee 
all the way up to your right tricep. If you can, hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee to the ground by your, by your right wrist. And then your foot is on an angle down. We're coming into pigeon. So you don't have to necessarily bring the, the shin to parallel to the top of the mat. You can have it angled down, that's okay. The most important thing though is to not allow this left hip to roll open. So we wanna square down the left hip and you can help achieve that by tucking the left toes and then sliding that foot back, nice. Now, use your fingertips, press into the ground, inhale, lengthen, lift your chest, look up. As you exhale, walk your hands down to the ground and fold over that front leg. Now, if this is not enough for you, walk your <laughs> right foot higher so that the right shin is more parallel to the top of the mat and then fold down. You can release your toes from being tucked and press the top of the foot onto the floor. And breathe. Reconnect your breath here. We hold pigeon a little longer based on the other poses. It's more like a yin pose to really get deep into the hip, the glute, the piriformis muscle, where we hold a lot of tension and a lot of emotions get stored here physically in the muscle. You want to breathe, inhale into that tight area. And as we exhale, we Visualize all of that tension, tightness, any negative energy that we need to let go of. Just release it out with your exhaling breath. Let it all go. Walk your hands up and press into the ground with your arms. So if you like to come a little deeper, we're going to do a pigeon twist, which means sliding palm, left palm up and arm underneath your body, rolling onto left shoulder. Right hand can press into the ground to square you or wrap behind your back. Notice the depth in the pose here. You get a little deeper when you do this. Just breathe through it. Any uncomfortable situation, you always want to breathe through. And if you need to back off, if you found your edge and you need to back off, go ahead and back up. Walk your hands back to your shin, press up. Now you have two options here. We're coming into either a three-legged table or a three-legged down dog. So I'll show you three-legged table first. Tucking left toes, bending left knee, shift back, and circle, walk your hands closer to your body, circle your right knee and hip. If you would like to do the three-legged down dog, just lift up, 
into your down dog with your right knee circling and lifting that hip. Now, if you know how to flip your dog, if you're in down dog, you can go ahead and flip into a wild thing. If not, don't worry about it. <laughs> if you want to try, be careful. You're basically looking over your left shoulder and bringing your right foot to the ground behind you. Just back up if you flipped from wild thing, and then come back to your downward facing. If you like, you can go through another yoga flow or just take a few breaths here and down bar. Your choice, your level, see what you're feeling today, how your body is feeling. Lift your left leg to the sky and bring your knee all the way up to your left tricep. Can you touch it? Can you engage the core for five breaths? Four. Three. Two, strengthening those abs. One, drop the knee to the ground by your left wrist, and your foot is by right wrist, the shin can angle again. Same thing, we're going into the other side pigeon. So tuck right toes, slide that right hip back. Inhale, press into the ground, lifting the weight in the chest. Exhale, walk those arms out, and fold, and breathe. With each inhaling breath, lengthen your spine, lengthen your chest. With each exhaling breath, fold your body closer to the ground and relax. Release and let go. You can untuck your right toes if you want. Breathe. Slowly from the halfway, coming into pigeon twist, sliding your right arm under your body with right palm up, rolling onto right shoulder, going a little deeper into the left hip. As you relax your right ear to the ground, you can push with your left hand into the floor, wrap it behind your back, or just relax your left hand. And close your eyes and breathe. Breathe into your left hip. And with your breath, visualize it attaching to anything that doesn't serve you any longer, anything you don't need for your highest good. Just release it when you exhale. Let it all go. See it leaving your body with each breath. back, circle the hip, left hip, left knee. If you're in your down dog, you can circle here. 
If you lift your dog on the first side, go ahead and flip on this side, extending your hips high to the sky. And then flip back, kicking the left leg up and down, down facing dog. If you like, you can do your last yoga flow here, just, uh, or same down dog if you're done with your flows. <laughs> And then look between your hands, bend your knees, see if you can jump and cross ankles, landing by hands, extending legs in front of you. Beautiful. Okay, extending and squeezing the tops of the legs. When we contract the quads, it lengthens the opposite muscle, the back of the legs, the hamstrings, the leg. Flex the ankles, which also helps stretch the calves. Press your palms into the ground and lift your chest, lengthen the spine. Feel your shoulders pull down and away from you. Watch your shoulder blades squeeze them together. This is a wonderful posture to maintain throughout the day. <laughs> Inhale as your core engages, reach your arms forward. Exhale, lengthen over your legs, and grab onto either outsides of feet, piece finger grip, big toes, or wherever you can, and fold your body back. So the crown of the head reaches towards toes, forehead towards knees. Breathe. Inhale, you lengthen 
further with each exhale you twist a little deeper and we always want to move and grow one millimeter at a time we're not forcing or pushing too fast or too hard into a stretch. Inhale, slowly come up and switch sides. Extending right leg, bending into left knee, bringing the bottom of the foot inside the thigh, and you're rotating, twisting over, over that right leg, and exhale, grabbing the foot. Keeping the right leg extended, forehead to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Take your left hand on the outside of your right foot and twist. You can wrap your right arm behind your back, bringing your left ear your right knee. Notice where you feel it. Maybe you feel more IT band down the outside of your leg. Maybe you feel more lower back in the QL. Quadratus morum. These are tougher spots to get to. Last breath here. And inhale. Nice, bending your knees, placing your feet flat on the ground. Make sure you're in the center of your mat. Reach your arms forward, lift and lengthen the spine. Press strong into the bottoms of your feet. Ground your feet into the mat. Tuck your chin to your throat, hollow out your belly. Belly run in towards the spine. Start to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Use your core strength, nice and slow. Once your shoulder blades touch, extend your arms and legs in opposite direction, reaching and lengthening. And then pull your knees into your chest, hug them in, rock a little side to side. And then just like we did our eagle wrap um, today standing, wrap your right leg, knee on top of your left. If you can, hook the toes behind the left. If not, no worries. Just keeping your hips flexed and your knees flexed. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Drop both knees over to the right. Turn your head to the left. Drop left shoulder to the ground and breathe. Lifting knees back up, coming to center. Keep the knees in the same wrap. Press your low back flat and drop them over to the left. Turn your head to the right, drop right shoulder down and breathe. Press the back flat, release the legs, bring left knee on top of right. And hook the toes if you can, otherwise just keep the knees stacked and drop them back over to the left. Turn your head to the right, you can close your eyes here. And notice the difference in the variation of the stretch. We're still on the same side, but we just switched our knees. Feel the right shoulder drop to the ground as you breathe. Feel the spine lengthen on the inhale and breath. And twist a little deeper on the exhale and breath. Inhale back 
back to center. Pause in the middle, keep the knees the same, wrapped, press low back flat into the ground and drop knees over to the right. Turn your head left, drop left shoulder to the ground. Twisting helps to detox the body, helping digestion improve. We're helping to create more length through the spine and space in the disc, hydrating the disc. Keeping our spine healthy. Inhale, back to center. Release, flatten your back, pull knees into chest, releasing the back rack. And then hold the insides of the thighs, extend the legs out into a straddle split as you flex and point the toes. Flex the ankles, point the toes. Legs are hovering up in the sky. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs. Slowly bend the knees, bring the bottoms of the feet together. On a recline down the angle, allow the weight of gravity to press the knees to the floor. Feel the inner thighs, the groin stretching here. Bring your arms overhead, bending the elbows 90 degree angles, palms facing up. When you're ready, you can slowly begin to extend your legs out for your final relaxation pose. Bring your arms down by your side, roll your shoulder blades underneath your body, palms facing up. And close your eyes, coming into your most relaxing position. So first, we'll do a breathing exercise to strengthen the lungs. As you inhale into the lowest part of your abdomen, big breath in, feel the belly rise to the ceiling. And hold the breath, holding the breath, pushing the belly up to the sky. Slowly exhale. Exhaling slowly through the nose as your belly lowers to the ground. Breathe in slower this time, even slower as your belly lifts to the sky. Keep breathing in, inhaling to max capacity. Feel the rib cage lift and move outward at Diaphragm contracts, lifts up the chest. Now hold the breath, holding the breath as you continue pushing the belly up to the sky. Slowly exhale, even slower, even slower still. One more time, take a deep breath, your deepest breath into the lowest part of the abdomen. Let it rise to the sky. And hold the breath, hold. Pushing the abdomen towards the ceiling. Strengthening your lungs as you slowly exhale. Slower, even slower. And relaxing. Just breathe naturally and normally as you let go of every muscle. Letting go, releasing. Relaxing. <coughs> Lying perfectly still in your relaxation pose. 
Getting fully comfortable. And as you feel your body, relax your lower legs from the toes all the way up to the hips. Your legs are relaxing. Relax your mid body, your trunk. From the base of your spine all the way up to your neck. Relax your head and your face. Feel your throat relaxing. Your traps, your shoulders, all the way down your arms to your fingertips. Notice the palms of your hands, they're facing up. And feel any sensations. And as you breathe naturally and normally, your body sinks down deeper and deeper into the ground, into full relaxation. You're fully and completely relaxed. My perfect soul.
comfortable seat position. Keep your eyes closed as you move slowly. Sitting up tall, keeping that same posture we had when we touched that foot. With the palms facing up, receiving all the blessings this day has offered. Holding this space of peace and love, compassion, energy you've created and cultivated throughout your class. Hold this space inside of you, keeping it with you wherever you go and sharing this love, peace, compassion, and energy you've created to each person you come in contact with. Thank you for coming this morning. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Staying healthy each and every day, being your best self. Namaste. Everybody in the great. Yay. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm going to stop the recording now. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy. I'm gonna